Hello and welcome back. Let's take a quick look at Linux Mint 17.3, one of the best Linux operating systems for, well, for Windows users. And I'm going to explain why in a moment. And maybe towards the end of this, I'll do a quick comparison to this, with this, to Windows 10. Running this inside a virtual machine, Linux Mint has, has always played nice in a virtual box, a perfect marriage, it seems, between virtual box and Linux Mint. So if you have Windows 10, as an example, you can try this, install this in, 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 install this in a virtual box quite safely. If you don't know how to do it, I'll show you in a future video. The default desktop here, of course, you can right click and you can change desktop background, change the wallpapers, of course, as you could in Windows. Background and theme and other shortcuts here, I chose red. Default panel at the bottom, one of my favorite functions of all time in any operating system, add to panel little applets. Oh, how about sticky notes? Click add and there it is right here, little yellow icon, new notes. I'll just put, um, let's see, testing. All right. Now, if I don't need that, I can just click the X and delete it or hit cancel. And that's my note. But for now, I think I'll just delete it. All right, the default functions here, of course, time and date, my internet, volume, left click, right click, sound preferences, sound effects, hardware, input, output, applications. I have nothing running. Again, very easy to navigate through this. Firefox installed, of course, by default. You may have this in Windows, the trash icon, the terminal. A lot of you have been saying, gee, with Linux, you have to use the terminal. You don't have to use the terminal. It can be helpful, and in some cases, it's, it's easy. And let me show you this real quick. Suppose I wanted to and I actually had the software installed, but I deleted VLC because I want to show you how to reinstall it or install it in the terminal. It's very, very easy. Once again, you don't have to use the terminal, but it's not difficult to install, as an example, VLC. S-U-D-O space apt-get space install VLC. Enter. It'll ask for the password. And that would be the password you chose when you first installed this. Now again, this is not the only way to install software, but the terminal isn't always that difficult. And that's it. It's all done. If I go to the start button or the mint menu, the classic mint menu or mate menu, it's here and you can do, you can just go to the search VLC. And there it is right here. By the way, the search also allows you to install software and delete software. If I type fire, Fox, or just fire, it comes up here to Firefox. It's already installed. If I didn't want it for whatever reason, right click and just highlight and click uninstall it. That's e it's that easy. All right, so let's erase that. Let's go back to, um, this is all applications. You can toggle back and forth between all applications and favorites. Let's stick to all applications here. These are in alphabetical order. Again, very easy to navigate through. Let's go, oh, let's see. Let's, uh, let's go to a different way to install software. That would be the um, software manager. My passcode. So I showed you how to install software using the terminal. Again, it's not that difficult, but maybe you just don't care for it or you're not comfortable with it. That's okay. Linux Mint has a different way to install software and it's actually quite easy. Now in a virtual machine, this will run, <clears throat> excuse me, this will run a, a little bit slow and that's normal. As a full install, you may notice the performance run considerably faster, at least a little bit faster. So the search bar here, VLC. I'll give it a few moments here. Now, once again, we already installed this, but let's see, I didn't install it. Okay, there it is at the top. Let's double click that. Now it says installed. So if I choose to remove it, I can just click remove to, re to remove it. If it wasn't installed, I would click to install, of course, but that's just another way on how to install the easy way 
to install software, at least how to do it, in Linux Mint 17.3, the Rosa edition. Let's go to the home folder. Again, this is brand new, so I have nothing in here. Documents, downloads, music. Again, very easy to navigate through this. Minimize, maximize, X, of course, to escape. All right, so how does this compare to Windows 10? It's going to run a little bit faster. If not much faster, that depends on your machine. Less, less maintenance. It's going to be easier to do updates, not only to the core system itself, but installing or updating specific pieces of software. Malware, it's, I won't say 100% safe, but if there's such a thing as close to 100% safe, Linux has it. However, if you're a gamer, Linux isn't quite there yet. It's getting better, but really, it's not there yet. If you have to use specific pieces of software in Windows that just are not available in Linux, then yes, you should continue using Windows 10. But why not dual boot? I'm actually dual booting this with Ubuntu Mate as the host and Linux Mint as the guest. I could have just as easily installed this in Windows 10. And maybe that's what I'll do next time. I'll install this with Windows 10 as the host and install this or something like this in a virtual box to show you if you are a Windows user just how easy it is to install this. And you can keep both this or Windows 10. But right now in my test, Linux Mint 17.3 is one of the best operating systems on the planet, period. And for Windows users, at least just to try it out, it's perfect so far. All right, before I end this, there is a new poll out. How to, do, how to stop texting and driving. Higher fines, mandatory jail time, one year license suspension, impound the car, plus a fine community service, all of the above. This ends January 31st, 2016. Some of the results so far, it looks like one year license suspension. Okay, well, there is still time to vote. I will have a link for this below in the show notes. Well, that's all I have for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Enjoy your technology and please don't text and drive. And for God's sakes, don't surf the web and drive either. Take care.